St. Andrew's Gym in Chicago. On the line, the middleweight championship of the United States, the Fighters. Chicago's Mark Piotrowski, record 21 wins and no losses. His opponent, the current defending United States middleweight champion, Milwaukee's Rick the Jet Rufus. Ricky Rufus sporting a record of 31 wins to no losses with 16 knockouts, holding not only the U.S. title but two world titles as well. He comes out of his corner. This is the long-awaited fight. Mark's big chance for the championship of the United States. Round one action sees Ricky Rufus coming out, opening up with a couple of sidekicks. Mark trying a straight overhand right, a back leg roundhouse. You see Rufus moving very, very easily around that ring. 31 fights. Nobody's been able to get a handle on him and beat him yet. Mark's trying. Good combinations by both fighters. Round one action. Ricky with a nice stiff left hand. Mark with a good straight right of his own. Spinning back fist by the Jet, picked off by Piotrowski. Mark tries his own spinning back fist, doesn't score, but does come back with some body shots that do. Rufus, known for his excellent kicking abilities, his real strong legs and always being in super, super shape. Good straight left hand by Rufus, a body kick, another combination. You see the head work there. Piotrowski backs Jet up into the corner. This first round, they don't seem like they're feeling each other out like a lot of long professional fights happen very slowly when they start off. These guys are coming right at each other. Rufus indicating it, a low kick, a nice round kick by Rufus. Piotrowski again with that pressure, a straight left hand by Rufus scoring. See Rick ducking down and coming up with that right leg side kick, and Piotrowski comes back with his own side kick. Mark, nice left-right combination. Rufus all around that ring. Rufus sure makes that ring look a lot bigger than 18 feet by 18 feet, the way he moves around. Piotrowski trying to cut that ring down to size a little bit. Good combination by Mark. The fighter's eye view here. This is what they get to see when they're in that ring. A good left hand, but Piotrowski picks it off and counters with a left. A nice spin kick. Not... Hurting Rufus, but definitely scoring in the eyes of the judges. Both fighters in tremendous shape. Not an ounce of fat between the two fighters, and that ends the first round. Our referee, Glenn Keeney, sends the fighters back to their corner. Rufus's corner man sits down. They get one minute. He's going to try to give him some information there to help him get through and win this fight against this excellent up-and-coming young fighter, Mark Piotrowski. Mark... He's indicated he thinks this is one of his big chances, a stepping stone to the world title, and he wants to win this United States championship very badly here in his hometown of Chicago. Very good support for Mark. He's been very, very pleased with all the folks that have come out and the cheering and the uh, just the general reaction by the Chicago fans in general. He's been very, very positive for Mark Piotrowski. And, of course, he's got the heart and spirit of a fine young warrior with a record of 21 wins and no losses. Fourteen of his wins have come by the knockout. We're getting ready for our second round here. Mark Piotrowski and Ricky the Jet Rufus. Rick again opens with that side kick. Mark coming back. It seems as though Mark kicks with a little more power and force. Each time he... There, nice spinning back fist by Piotrowski. Rick comes back with a front kick. Rufus has a lot of experience. He's not going to go down easily. And, of course, he's hoping to defend his championship. Nice spinning back fist by the Jet. Piotrowski tries to come back and counter. Not effective with that spin. Good body work by Piotrowski. The fighter's tied up and the referee separates him. Another attempt at spinning back fist. Very interesting to see two fighters that are both noted for being excellent with both kicks and hands and with both left and right side. That's very unusual. Most fighters tend to favor one side over the other, of course, like most of us do. But both of these guys are noted for having power, knockout power, with both hands and both feet. Left front kick there by the Jet. Piotrowski with a left front kick of his own. We're in the second round. 
in this United States Championship. Piotrowski spins. Rufus tries to pick it off. Encounter with a spin over the head of Piotrowski. Nice straight right-left combination. Rufus against the rope. And Keeney separates the fighters. Piotrowski picks off Rufus's double round kick there and comes back with a good combination. Rufus throwing that left leg out there. He's got very long legs for his height. And that, of course, keeps most fighters at bay a little bit, keeps them out of their effective fighting range. Piotrowski, though, with his pressure, backs Rufus into the corner. Rufus very wisely ties him up. Now, the referee won't let him clinch very long, but is very, very keen on Rufus's part when he starts getting hit to reach over and grab or clinch up with Mark. And, of course, that keeps Mark from being effective. And the referee won't let that happen for long. He'll step in and separate him. And, of course, that works to Rufus's advantage not to be scored on. Both fighters, of course, in excellent condition. They've trained very, very intensely for this championship Rufus as we mentioned earlier holds not only the United States title but he also holds two world titles for different organizations gets his nickname the jet after one of the early pioneers most effective in kickboxing and that was of course Benny the Jet Urquidas from California Working in Ricky's corner is his dad, a noted fighter in his own right, P.J. Rufus. We're getting ready for our third round. You see that movement. Ricky just bouncing around the ring. He works on that ring strategy and movement all the time. And there's that side kick. Piotrowski tries a spinning hook kick, falls a little bit short. Rufus, one, two, three, four, five, six, six kicks. Yeah, they weren't thrown with power, but you see the balance and finesse of these kickboxers. Just amazing. Good left hook by Piotrowski. The crowd goes wild. Straight right hand by Rufus. A very even fight at this point. Rufus trying to use that ring to his advantage. Nice spinning back fist. Scored but mostly went over the head. Glanced off the top of Mark's head. Didn't do any damage. See Rufus flip that right leg side kick out there with just... No effort at all. Nice back leg roundhouse beat by Piotrowski. Very powerful. One of the most powerful kicks in kickboxing. Take that rear leg and swing it around. Nice spinning back fist as Rufus is against the rope. And you see Rufus again tying him up. Mr. Keeney steps in, that referee. Stopping the action momentarily to get Mark's mouth guard back in. One of the regulations, you have to have that mouth guard in each round. Rufus trying that axe kick, swings the leg up and gets it caught up on the shoulder of Piotrowski. Mark with a nice stiff left kick to the body. Side kick. Oh, good right hand by Rufus scoring. And then Mark's counter left. And then Mark backs up Rufus again. Just toe to toe here. Amazing to see the skill and talent of these two young fighters. Very, very worthy of a title fight here. Good spinning back kick by Rufus. Backs up Mark. Doesn't even seem to phase him. And that spinning back kick hits as hard as any move in, in full contact karate. Mark now again coming back. Rufus swinging, missing. Mark's just amazing at, at countering. When, when a fighter starts to lift that leg, Mark steps in, crowds the kick and scores with his own hand techniques. The fighters now back to the corner after three rounds. We'll go over to the corner and see how the fighters are doing. Of course, the crowd's enjoying the ring girls. Right now, the fighters are concentrating. You see Kevin McClinton working the corner of Mark Piotrowski. The crowds love it. The fans just going crazy. They love Mark here in Chicago. Clinton giving Piotrowski some, some last-minute information. And there, of course, Andrew Yanuz. And that's Mark's manager. Looking a little bit worried at this point, and, and with no doubt. His fighter's in the ring with a man that's got multiple titles. And Mark is trying to take his own right now. 
Ricky the Jet Rufus, the defending United States middleweight champion, the challenger for the title, Mark Piotrowski. Here we are, fourth round. Nice stiff back leg by Piotrowski. No side kick by Rufus. Oh, a good roundhouse kick by Rufus. And he <laughs> dances around the ring, very pleased with himself. That was a knockdown. A good stiff left roundhouse kick. Goes, uh, Piotrowski goes down, gets right back up, indicates he's not hurt. And I'd say from the way he's coming back, he isn't hurt. Good spinning back kick by Rufus. The Jet having a very good round here. Nice roundhouse kick, followed by a left hand. Piotrowski tries an axe kick, falls a little bit short. You see that movement of Rufus, how he gets out of the way. Good spinning back fist by Piotrowski. And there's Rufus trying that left leg roundhouse that he scored the knockdown with before, but falling down himself because Piotrowski stepped into it, as he's done so many times throughout his career. Ooh, good left hook by Rufus, and then he gets out of the way. That's how he's won those titles. He hits you, he kicks you, and then he gets out of the way. Piotrowski's trying to chop down that ring a little bit. Rufus lands a spinning back fist, but on the arms of Mark, no damage. Fighters inside, you see Rufus again clinching up on Piotrowski. Rufus trying a jump spinning back kick. Very acrobatic and crowd-pleasing, but doesn't hit anything with it. Referee Keeney separates our fighters. You see Rufus again using that ring movement. Just constantly dancing on his toes. A fighter's got to be in such unbelievable condition to keep that movement up. A lot of fighters like to move. There's the end of the fourth round. A lot of fighters like to move like that because, of course, a moving target's much harder to hit. But what happens is round after round after round, you start to fatigue. And that's when you'll see a lot of fighters start to sit down on their feet, a little more flat-footed, and they'll go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and, of course, that's where a lot of fights are ended by knockouts. As long as you keep moving, you have that advantage. Of course, one of the... There's been many notable fighters. And another man working in Mark's corner now is world champion in his own right, master blaster, they call him, Manson Gibson. And he seems to be very, very adamant about the advice he's giving Mark. They know that that round is maybe not Mark's. Uh, it would be, if I had to call that round, I might have given that one to Rick Rufus on the basis of that knockdown. We're scoring on the 10-point must system here. If the fight does not end in a knockout, you have to go to the judge's scorecard. And there comes Rufus back with that sidekick. You see that sidekick that he's noted for. Piotrowski putting on the pressure. And down goes Rufus. No, he's shaking his head no. And, and the referee agrees that was not a knockdown. Rufus trying to keep Mark back with those side kicks, and you start to see the power and the intensity of Piotrowski now. He's working the body, working the head, hands and feet flowing together. There's a nice back leg roundhouse, and Rufus comes back with a spin kick, a roundhouse kick. A very evenly matched fight at this point. Both fighters undefeated. You can see why. Front kick to the body, scoring very well by Piotrowski. He tries a spinning back fist and comes back with a spinning back fist and the left hand to scores. Rufus now seeming to slow down just a little bit. He'll kick and then move, but not continuing that movement and clenching up whenever he gets close to try to keep Mark from hitting him. You see, now those side kicks there are not counted as kicks. They're not intended to be. They're just trying to back Piotrowski up. I don't think that's going to do it. Straight left and a nice round kick by Piotrowski. I start to see this momentum swinging over to Mark now. Good straight right hand again by Piotrowski. The fighters are tied up and the referee steps in and breaks the fighters. Rufus missing with that spin back fist. Nice jab by Piotrowski. See Mark blocking a lot of those moves. Axe kick. Mark ducks very, very adeptly under it. Fighters are tied up, and the referee steps in. 
That's a technique a lot of experienced fighters used is when they start to feel themselves not get, Oh, good exchange. Piotrowski landing very, very good, hard, sharp hand techniques. And that's the end of the round. In the round five, we're halfway through this United States Championship. We go back to Rufus's corner and Piotrowski's corner. You see Mark's people cheering him on, Rufus's people icing down the neck, trying to cool their fighter off. Rick now looking just a little bit worn. You see him kind of slumping over in the corner there. I wonder if that's an indication that he's getting just a little bit tired. A lot of hype, a lot of pressure building up to this, this championship fight here in Chicago. Rick's been looking forward to it. He's been watching Mark's fight. I've seen him at several of Mark's fights several times. And uh, he's been looking forward to taking on this game young fighter. You see Rufus's corner trying to get him ready for the sixth round coming up here in this 10-round championship. Here we go. Round six. Rufus again with that patented sidekick opens around. Mark covers up. Left hook and a right hook and a front kick by Piotrowski. All scores. Rufus sidekicking Piotrowski away, but Mark comes right back in. Both fighters, excellent kickers. And there's fighters tying up again. Nice combination by Piotrowski's back Rufus up against the rope. And now Rufus is not moving. That could be a problem for him. You see him just sitting still trying to cover up. And I don't think he can cover up against Piotrowski's style of fighting. Mark, very, very intense and powerful with his techniques. As long as he was moving, seemed to be okay. But now, seems to be settling down just a little bit. And a nice straight right, a left hand. Oh, good combinations by Piotrowski. Rufus trying to cover up. Comes out with a right hand of his own. Good spinning back kick scores by Piotrowski. Side kick meant to back him up, but not scoring. Covering up. And again, you see how Ricky's starting to settle down. The Jets not moving quite as much, quite as fast. And that could be a problem because Mark just continues to put that pressure on. Mark is there in every round and fights the whole round. And you see Rufus now against the ropes. That is not the place that Ricky should be against Mark. If he continues to do that, nice spinning back fist. Neat move. Good left hand jab. Mark picks off Rufus's left hand and counters. There's Rufus trying to kick, and this good spin kick by Piotrowski lands as Rufus tried to spin around. Those hurt right into the short ribs. See the pace slowing down just a little bit. Sixth round action here. Good right hand by Piotrowski, a left hand. Rufus not being quite as active. And there's the end of the sixth round. And again, as we go back to the corners, Rufus is not moving. He's not moving as well as he was in the earlier rounds. And Piotrowski is seeming to score and control the round a little better when Rufus doesn't move. Now the key is going to be in the next few rounds if Ricky can get back on that bicycle and get to moving around that ring. Both fighters, again, excellent kickers. You see Kevin McClinton and, and Manson Gibson cheering on their fighter, trying to give him some, some advice here, trying to give him a little bit of information that will make the difference for Mark to go out there and win this fight by knockout or at the very least win the round decisively. This is a very, very close fight right now. It could go either way. Both fighters landing well. Rufus, again, appearing just a little bit fatigued in his corner. I think the pace of the fight is starting to take its toll on both fighters. Let's see who can keep it up. Round seven. It's straight right hand, the left front kick. Nice spin kick. Lands on the arms. A lot of power. The spin kick by the Jet over the shoulder of Piotrowski. The right, left, right, right. Good combination. Rufus back in the corner, and that's not where he wants to be. Spinning back fist by both fighters. Rufus indicates, he's holding his head, indicating that there was some damage by that last spinning technique by Piotrowski. Good, strong kick and punch combination by Piotrowski. Rufus against the rope, tries to back him up with a front kick. Mark seeming to have a little more effective power at this point in the fight. 
We're in the seventh round in this United States Championship fight. Rick the Jet Rufus and Mark Piotrowski doing battle. Piotrowski with a real nice right round kick there. Referee Keeney telling Rufus to bring his kicks up. And again, you see Piotrowski stepping in. Rufus against the rope. Nice left hook by Rufus there. The Jets scoring with a good, sharp left hook that time. I think the crowd senses now that Piotrowski's got a real serious chance at winning the United States Championship right here. He's seeming to have just a little bit of an upper hand. Fighting with maybe a little more intensity. Rufus going down. Rufus scoring very well there with a nice right hook to the body. Rufus's hands are dropping down a little bit now. That's not a good sign for Rufus's corner. Referee Keeney steps in, breaks the fighters. Round kick, Rufus with a spinning back fist. Piotrowski tries to come back with a spinning back fist of his own, realizes it won't miss or won't hit, so he doesn't throw it. Referee Keeney again breaks the fighters. We're in the seventh round here of this United States Championship. And there's the end of round seven. We have three rounds to go to decide if Rufus can defend his championship or if Mark's going to be the new middleweight champion of the United States. We go back into Rufus's corner, and again, you see Rufus's people talking to him. Seems just a little bit down, a little bit dejected at this point. And again, you see the enthusiasm of McClinton and Gibson in Mark Corner. And you can see again, he's showing some of the wear and tear of this, this type of fight. Not only is it the physical part of it, but the mental strain of fighting for a title. Being in front of this large a crowd, both these guys obviously want to win the fight. You see Mark's fighting weight today, 169 pounds to Rick the Jet Roofs' 165. So Mark with a four-pound advantage that's a little bit lighter than Piotrowski usually fights at that training. They're, fight, they're training so intensely. Round eight. Good right round kick by Rufus and a straight right hand by Piotrowski. Again, Mark timing that kick and landing a good sharp right. Good body work in there by Piotrowski. And again, you see Rufus now a little bit less intense uh, very uh, as soon as i say that he comes back with a good strong left hand rufus tying up referee keeney steps in and breaks the fighters we're in the eighth round good spinning back fist by piotrowski just constant pressure by mark and again that's one of the things the judges look for if, uh, if other things are equal, their overall scoring, the more aggressive fighter can be given the round on the scorecard. And, of course, that could be winning a round if it's otherwise very close or even. Rufus seems like he's trying to load up now. There's a back leg roundhouse by both fighters. Piotrowski spins around over the head of Rufus. Referee steps in, breaks the fighters. Left front kick by Piotrowski. That side kick scores by Rufus. And Piotrowski lands a good front kick as, ah, there's another Rufus roundhouse kick. Good right hook by Piotrowski. Now, good stiff left hand in there. Fighter starting to work inside now. Again, you can see how Rufus is not moving near as much as he was earlier. Good chopping right hand, overhand right by Piotrowski. Scoring, seems like it fired up Rufus, who comes back with a couple of hand shots of his own. And again, you can see how this type of pace is wearing the fighters down a little bit a lot of it now is who's got the heart who wants it a little bit more we know they're both champions in their own right rufus holding world titles along with his u.s title piotrowski an up-and-coming hungry young fighter trying to take that united states championship belt away from the jets and there's the end of round eight Clinton sets down. He's trying to extol his young fighter on. Pours water on him. You see the corner trying to cool Mark down a little bit. The crowd very quiet at this point. And we are getting ready for our ninth, ninth round. We have two to go if it goes the distance. And it's looking at this point like it will go the distance. Neither fighter seems to be hurt or hasn't been hurt. Rufus scored the only knockdown. 
And uh, that was way back, I believe, in the fourth round. Piotrowski wasn't hurt by it, got right back up, and had just been putting relentless pressure on Rufus. Kevin McClinton telling him now, we've got two rounds to go. Two rounds to go. Four more minutes of fighting. And I think he thinks his fighter, Mark Piotrowski, has this fight in hand. Rufus comes out. There's that side kick, and there's that straight right by Piotrowski again. Every time Rufus tries landing, that straight right by Piotrowski sticks out there, and you can see the intensity of Mark Piotrowski. Rufus back in the corner, covering up, against the ropes covering, trying to back up Piotrowski with a left hand. Doesn't do it. Piotrowski scores with a left kick to the body. Spin back kick by Piotrowski. A spinning back fix. Backs Rufus into the ropes. Good left to the body, but now Rufus is indicating that it was below the waist. Well, I'd like to see that again. That looked like a good left hook right into the stomach area. But Rufus indicated it was a low blow. So referee Keeney stops the fight, falls time. Gonna let uh, Rufus see if he's okay and can continue. Now he can't award a foul. I think, of course, that was accidental. It looked like a legal blow, but of course, Ricky said it was low. It must have been low. Here we go. Back into the ninth round action. Fighters tied up in the middle of the ring. Spinning back fist by Piotrowski scores. The crowd loves it when Mark scores like that. Rufus side kicking Mark away. And here he comes, back with a three-strike combination. Rufus kicking over the head, body shot by Piotrowski, scoring there. Nice short chopping right hook to the body. Piotrowski backing Rufus up. Ricky trying to score with a left hand of his own. Oh, clubbing overhand right, followed by an uppercut in a left roundhouse. Nice combination, a spinning back kick to the body of Rufus. Rufus drops his hand and backs away. Wrong thing to do here. Ricky's trying to get out of uh, the way of some of that power. Nice straight right hand after a right leg roundhouse by Piotrowski. Referee team separates the fighters. Rufus scoring with a straight left of his own. An uppercut and a left hook by Piotrowski scoring well there. Spin back kick. Again landing on the arms, but very, very flashy and very powerful. We could be seeing the crowning of a new United States championship here. We're in the ninth round. Rufus, a straight left hand, misses. Piotrowski, chopping right hook over the shoulder. Referee Keeney separates the fighters, and there's the bell. Mark, looking a little bit worn here. His corner's going to try to pump him up, and there's the judges marking down their scores now. This fight can... It's just amazing how close it is. can go either way. We have one round to go. This is it. This is it to determine the champion of the United States in the middleweight division. Mark Piotrowski, the challenger. Rick the Jet Rufus, the defending United States middleweight champion right now. I don't know. He's not looking real positive over there in this corner. But, hey, he's just fought nine very intense rounds. We have two minutes of action to go. Both fighters, of course, meeting their kicking requirements in each round. Fighting very, very well at this point. And I think right now they're just going to have to look inside and dig it out. There's no awards for second best at this point. Round 10. The final round. Rufus again with those side kicks. Piotrowski with a left-right-left -left combination. Front kick into the body. Rufus now back trying to move around. Beautiful spinning back. The scores by Piotrowski. Right hand scores by Piotrowski. Body work in there. Referee Keeney steps in there. Breaks the fighters and says, don't clinch to Rufus. Rufus trying that right or that left round kick. Not much power behind it at this point. Good front kick does score by Rufus. Body shot. Rufus seems to be fighting more in spurts, though, not putting together the combinations the way Mark Piotrowski is. Here's Piotrowski. A kick, a punch, another punch, another uppercut. Kick, and you see the combinations working real well for Mark Piotrowski. Good stiff left hand. Rufus backs up. Another left hand. And Rufus is down. But I no, that's ruled a slip. That's not a knockdown. A front kick to the body looked like it put Rufus to the canvas, but it was ruled a slip. 
Just unbelievable the amount of energy these guys are displaying for us, the fantastic conditioning. These are two fantastically gifted young athletes, and we're in the 10th round of this United States Championship fight. It's on the line right here, folks. Piotrowski with a right roundhouse kick there on the exchange. Rufus trying that side kick to back up Piotrowski. Good short left hook by both fighters. Rufus backed into the corner, trying that front kick to get it. Piotrowski to back off a little bit and Mark just comes back. He's just relentless. It's awesome the amount of pressure he puts on. Referee Keeney steps in, breaks the fighters, tells him to resume. Piotrowski covering up. Rufus did score with a left hook but Piotrowski came back with a spinning back fist of his own. The fight is just about over folks. We could be seeing the championship change hands right here. The crowd is sensing it. And there it is. The final bell rings. No knockout. And we have to go and find out just who is the champion of the United States. Unbelievable. The crowd, the crowd, I know, thinks that they have a new champion right, right here in Chicago. They are chanting for Mark at this point. corner celebrating and Ricky Rufus comes over and congratulates the corner people this has got to be a tough time right now for these two young fighters waiting to see how the judges scored it it in the air. Everybody is very excited. And we have to wait and see who the champion of the United States is. You can see Mark's corner people congratulating each other in the corner and extolling the crowd on they think their fighter has won it. The judges have made their decision. It's being announced. The winner and the new champion of the United States, Marek Piotrowski.